Hello, this is Blaine with DAS 3D. Today I'd like to cover the smoothing and collision detection tool inside DAS Studio 4. So we're going to show you the smoothing and collision detection for the Genesis figure, which is shown here, and then for the fourth generation figures and clothing to help with uh, poke through to solve the poke through issues that we have. So as you see, I've uh, loaded up the Genesis figure with some pants from the Michael Four figure. So these were brought in through AutoFit and uh, applied to this uh, to this figure. You can also see that I've applied the basic male, some body volume, and some bodybuilder to this. And we're seeing a little bit of poke through here in the leg, the thigh, around the waist, just a little bit. So we want to show you how you can fix that by using the smoothing and collision detection. So first of all, you need to select the item that needs to be smoothed and uh, um, have the collision detection applied to it. Under the Scene tab and the Options menu, you'll see the Edit button and Apply Smoothing Modifier. Select that. That applies the tool to that selected item. Then you go to the Parameters tab. You select the Mesh Smoothing. And by default, the smoothing is enabled. It's turned on. And I want to uh, bump this up a little bit. And as I mouse up, you'll see that the mesh is smoothing, but I'm seeing more poke through. Well, I don't have the collision iterations turned on yet. So um, as I scroll and dial up a little bit of the collision iterations, you'll also notice a progress bar in the bottom right corner of the screen. And as that's calculating, you'll see that the, the changes to the clothing will be applied and it's that simple um, some basic smoothing dialed up and basic collision iterations you can see that the collision item is Genesis figure and just by applying those two components the poke through is virtually eliminated now I still see a little bit here and we can bump up the iterations and uh, see if we can't solve some of those other problems as well so try dialing up smoothing try dialing up collision. The higher you dial those, the longer it will take for it to solve. Okay, so that's giving us pretty good results for that pose and for the angle that we need to render this in. So this is a single skin mesh, which means that any clothing item can be selected and the single skin, the Genesis figure, will be the collision item that you will uh, uh, solve against. With the Gen 4 figure, we'll show you it's a little bit different technique, a little bit uh, uh, more time consuming, but very well worth the results. Okay, here we have Victoria loaded, and we have applied some clothing to this figure, and you'll notice that with the morphs that I have dialed up on the figure, we're seeing some poke through. So this particular clothing item didn't have all of the morphs associated with the clothing, and so we're seeing some poke through, and we want to fix that using smoothing and collision detection. So with the fourth gen figures and previous generation figures, we have to work a little bit differently than we did with the Genesis figure. In doing that, we have to work on the nodes. In other words, this figure is broken up into uh, separate nodes, like you see here, um, that have to be identified and worked on for the smoothing and collision. So let's start off here with the poke through that we're seeing on the chest. So what I need to do is select the um, the tunic, which is the shirt, and I want to select the chest group and then apply the smoothing modifier to that. And so on that group that we're working on, we're going to go to the parameters tab. You'll notice that that is the group that's selected up here. Um, now that we've selected the mesh smoothing, we need to identify what collision item needs to be um, solved against, uh, against the shirt. So we need to come in here and select the Victoria. We're going to find the chest group under abdomen here and accept that. And then as I turn this on, you're going to see the progress bar at the bottom and the default settings applied to this figure. So you can see that that very quickly solved that poke through problem um, in the chest area. So now what we want to do is solve that for the, um, uh, the poke through on the arm. So let's, uh, let's move to that one. So in the seam tab, we're going to um, continue down on the left collar and it's the shoulder group 
So I'm going to select that once again. Go under and, and notice that this is under the uh, tunic, not the figure, but the the actual item that we want to apply the smoothing to. Edit, apply smoothing modifier, parameters, mesh smoothing. Then we have to change the collision item to the figure component that we need. And this is the left arm, the left shoulder. Accept that. You'll see that applied. So you can you can see that as that's solved, it's taking care of that problem. We've got a little bit of poke through up on the shoulder, so let's go back and take care of that. So that would be under the collar group. Once again, the tunic collar, edit, apply smoothing modifier. With the parameters, mesh smoothing, we need to just select the group from Victoria. So we'll go through and find that group. Left collar, accept. And you can see that very quickly, just with the default settings, I have collision iterations set very low. The smoothing iterations are set to 20. Um, and it solves very, very quickly. Now, if you're not getting the solution that you need, you can very simply go and start changing these, these dials. The higher you go with the number, the longer it's going to take to solve those issues. But hopefully this will give you an idea of how you can solve poke through problems with the Genesis figure very quickly being a single skin mesh and also with fourth generation or prior generation figures and solve the smoothing problems in that regard. So very powerful tools, very um, high likelihood that you'll be able to solve these issues. One more area that we want to talk about is the figure smoothing that you can do with this as well. So in the scene tab I'm going to turn off the um, the shirt and you're going to see some some pinching that this pose is applying to this figure in this shoulder and so we want to fix that we actually want to go in and smooth out that that uh, pinching so what we're going to do in the scene tab is expand the Victoria um, figure and we want to do the um, right collar and apply the smoothing to that so edit Apply smoothing, and you can see just the default setting of the mesh smoothing turned on. Let's turn it off and then back on. You can see that it has a, a very nice, very quick um, update to that. Now as you dial the smoothing, you see it, it goes back to its default state until you let off on the mouse button. So as I dial this up, we're seeing that smooth and become much smoother rather than being kinked on that, uh, on that mesh joint. So not only can this be used for Genesis clothing items, it can be used for fourth gen clothing items and, and fixing poke through, but also the mesh if you want to smooth in particular uh, nodes or groups. So good luck using this tool. Hopefully it will be a tool that will solve some of the, the little bits of frustration that you have and you'll see success in using this.